Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today we see the asynchronous inputs in flip flops. All right, a synchronous inputs. All right. Uh, this marker isn't working properly, but I believe it's clear. Yes. Now this is what this is something you know already about. This is the SR flip flop. All right. Now. Uh, what are these asynchronous inputs? So first let me tell you that they are also called also called uh, overriding inputs or direct inputs. Now why are they called that? So we'll see it in a detail just in a moment. All right. So first I write down the definition of this asynchronous inputs. All right. These are the inputs which change the value which changes value of the output directly when they are applied all right irrespective irrespective of status of clock pulse and other synchronous inputs all right now what are the synchronous inputs so these are the general inputs that we have been discussing till now s r j k t d etc the definition these are the inputs when applied they change the output directly without depending on the status of the clock pulse and the status of the other synchronous inputs now you'll be saying that these synchronous inputs s and r also change the values of the output but they cannot change it directly they will depend on this status of this clock pulse when this clock is high Let's, uh, let's say we talk about the JK flip-flop, in this we have an invalid case, in the JK flip-flop, when the clock is high, both of them are one, the output toggles. But, if the output, if the clock pulse is a low, zero, and both the inputs of the JK flip-flop are high, the output will not toggle. So, which means, the synchronous inputs are those inputs which depends on the status of the clock pulse. It depends on what? On status of clock pulse. Is that fine till here? Now these asynchronous inputs, these do not depend on either of the clock pulse or the values of the synchronous inputs. So therefore they are called the overriding inputs or direct inputs because they just override everything and they do what they change the value of the output directly now generally in flip-flops these eight synchronous inputs are two all right one is preset and the other one is clear so these two are the inputs uh, that are called the asynchronous inputs in flip-flops now where are they applied in the flip-flop so they are applied in this final NAND gates all right this is your preset signal and this one would be your what clear signal is that fine now these are active low signals and active low means what whenever they are low which means whenever they are zero they change the value of the output which means now in this case if the preset is zero something will happen if the clear is zero something will happen now if the preset is zero have a look this is an AND gate any of them is zero the output would be what the output would be one now preset is zero implies that your QN is what is going to be one now this implies what that your QN complement would be zero because there is a complement of each other fine all right now the clear zero if the clear is zero this would imply the NAND gate would implement it to be the QN complement to be one 
and if q in complement is 1 it means that q n has to be 0 for this this is something important you know to know now this happens irrespective of the clock pulse if the preset is 0 q n has to be 1 if the clear is 0 q n has to be 0 this is irrespective of the clock pulse whatever be the value of the clock either a 0 either a 1 whatever be the value of j whatever be the value of k similarly for s and r similarly for d similarly for t whatever be the values of the synchronous inputs and the clock pulse the outputs changes directly when these signals are applied is that fine till here okay now what do we have let's say we draw the block diagram for it okay the block diagram so it's like this okay now let's say this is the s input r input this is the clock pulse we have qn we have qn complement now the preset is given is shown like this wait a minute let me draw it properly like this fine where this bubble shows that this is the active low signal right what does this bubble indicate that this is an active low signal bubble indicates an active low signal and what is the active low signal active low signal means <coughs> sorry that whenever it is zero it applies some changes fine now if, if we talk about the truth table for it so we have uh, we have two of them we have preset and clear all right preset and we have clear so these are the two inputs and the output is qn all right so when both of them are zero so that we have four combinations all right so let me write them first one one now if both of them are zero so what do we have if both of them are zero preset is zero will make qn one clear is zero will make qn zero which means they are both implementing different outputs at the same time which means this is an invalid state this cannot be used all right because we cannot have a value of 0 and a value of 1 at the same time for qn so which means this is the invalid state or the not used state all right you know that now when preset is 0 preset is 0 so here it is qn would be 1 we have seen that and when the clear is 0 qn would be 0 now when both of them are 1 so this will not affect this flip-flop it will not affect the value of the NAND gate now this will depend when 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 we have a 1 over here so it will depend on the value of coming coming out from here which means it will depend on the synchronous inputs and the clock pulse which means that if both the inputs are 1 the flip-flop FF for flip-flop operates normally and by normally I mean what it it's it's normal operation depending on what depending on the clock pulse and the synchronous inputs when only when both the inputs are high the 0 0 is an invalid state and for 0 1 and 1 0 we have understood so that's about it these asynchronous inputs this preset and clear is an important idea we'll be implementing them in the counters and I believe this is the last video uh, before moving into the counters. So, see you in the next lecture, most probably with counters. Till then, take care. Goodbye.